Hello everyone, Dark Nomad here, and I figured I'd do a uh, table talk video since I haven't done one since my very first one. Um, can't do anything outside because it is blowing a gale out there. Um, we've got 30, I think 35 to 40 mile an hour sustained winds and um, gusts up to, I think 55, 56 miles per hour. So uh, it's not a fit day to be outside. Beautiful, sunny weather. I mean, the, the sun's blaring out there. I mean, I've got, uh, looking at my readout, I've got great power going to my solar. Um, my, my batteries are fully topped off, but um, it is, it, it, it's, it's windy. I mean, it is windy. And for the sun to be out the way it is, uh, there's a little bit of chill in that air. I guess it's coming off the mountains. Well, it can't be really coming off the mountains because the biggest mountain range we have is to the north of us, which would be the San Francisco Mountains, north of Flagstaff. And that being said, that's where I'm at. I am um, in Coconino National Forest, south of Flagstaff. Um, we've been here for a little bit now. And not going to be here too much longer. We're going to stay probably till the end of this coming week, and then we're going to. Um, it, it's Sunday now, and I think that's really quick. Um, I'm probably going to. I'm going to try to do one of these table talk type videos every Sunday, so I'll just call it a Sunday table talk video. Um, but getting back to the um, to moving, we're going to get out, we're going to try to get out of here um, this coming week. Um, probably Friday, Saturday at the latest because the weather up north is going to be warming up. I'm going to be heading towards the uh, area around the North Florida Grand Canyon. And maybe, just maybe, I might finally go sit down. No, not sit down, but actually go see the Grand Canyon. Maybe even try to find a spot to camp there for a little bit. Um, because I've been doing this for three years and I've driven by the grand canyon on numerous occasions and not once have i stopped to actually go and see the grand canyon something that everybody who comes out here um says that they want to do so I, I may go hit the north rim because from what i understand of what everything i've talked to people about that is the the better place to go because it's less crowds less traffic and just less chaos around the south rim everybody or excuse me the north rim everybody wants to go to the south rim um because that's where all the visitor centers and campgrounds and things of that nature are it's all pretty much dispersed camping and um fend for yourself type deal on north rim not a lot up there not a lot of gas stations or places to go um, no eateries things of that nature it's just bare wilderness for the most part up in the north rim they close a good portion of that down during the winter time because the roads are impassable because of ice and snow and just bad weather. Um, I had a, a comment from a subscriber in my last video when I was showing the snow that had fallen here, a little bit of snow, um, about me allowing Harry to walk around off leash. And I had to explain to him, yeah, I, I don't really like doing that because if Harry gets a wind, you know, if, if Harry gets excited about something, Harry will take off running. Um, I had an issue out here a few years ago when I had first gotten Harry and I would let him run the last little bit um, from where we were walking back to the, the Jeep that I had at the time. And I figured, you know, he needs to run. He needs the exercise. He needs to, you know, get a little bit of it out of his system. And he got into a little bit of an altercation with a guy, not a guy, but a, a, a dog that a guy was walking, a German Shepherd. And um, that could have ended badly, but we were able to get him separated. Um, it took a long time for me to, to build up the trust to allow him to run around off leash. But um, I'm capable of doing that now, but I really have to rein him in on occasion when he sees something that interests him and he listens 90% of the time, 95% of the time, but there's always that chance that he's gonna take off and do what he wants. So I, 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 
before I allowed him to run around out here off leash when we went on our morning walks, I um, made sure that there were no other dogs in the area that would garner his interest because that's how he rolls. Um, a few years back, we had a, uh, a, a, a situation in the dog park and court site where Harry got a hold of some guy's chihuahua <laughs> and I, I thought he had killed the dog. I really thought he grabbed the hold of that dog by the neck and started shaking. I'm like, oh my God, he's, he's gonna kill him. But we we're able to get the dog, get him to let the other dog go and there was no harm, no blood, no skin broken and everything was fine. When my fault, when Harry's fault, I kept telling the guy not to come into the, 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 the pen that we were in and he just came in anyway with a big grin on his face. Turned out the guy had a bad set of hearing aids in his ears and he couldn't hear he couldn't hear a word I said when I was yelling at him at the top of my lungs to not come in the pen until I got Harry back on lead. But um you know it is what it is and everything turned out okay. Um I'm glad to be up here away from court site. Though the weather here has been well, this is the second occasion it's been what I would call unpleasant. Um, you know, the first being the snow, and then we've got this windstorm going on right now. And it's actually going to get pretty chilly tonight. It's going to be down about, uh, oh, sorry, kick my tripod. It's going to be down in the high 20s, I believe, overnight tonight. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. It gets a little chilly. I mean, I got enough uh, blankets and things that I had to cover. I never did install my diesel heater, so I'm still without heat. But um, I'm gonna try to change that before I head back down the court site next winter because there are days, though it's the desert, it gets pretty chilly at night, um, especially when you get into the January, February timeframe. Um, and speaking of court site, um, I said I was gonna be heading back. I'm not going back to court site. Um, I'll go to, I'll go to, I'll go into the town maybe to pick up groceries or go to the stores or things of that nature. And, um, but that being said, there, there is nothing. I mean, the, the big tent I went, I saw, and I wasn't impressed. Um, the, uh, my mailbox is in court site. So if I get stuff delivered via, you know, Amazon or, or, or have family send me something, then that's where I receive it. So I'll have to go back to court site for that. But I'm not going to stay in court site proper, at least not the LTVAs. I will go to one of the free dispersed camping sites or I'll actually go outside of town um, in the mountains or in the desert between locations because it's it's not worth it to me um and people say well it's only 180 dollars well yeah it's only 180 dollars the problem with it is is that what are you getting for your 180 dollars i can park on, on on public land anywhere out here and accomplish the same thing that i accomplished staying in court site um and at the ltva the ltva the only thing they provide, they provide water, they provide, uh, if you have, if you have dump station, if you, if, if you have tanks that you need to dump on your, on your rig, then they provide a location to do that. They have a dumpster, they have, um, they have vault toilets. Well, I think I used the vault toilet a total of two times this past season that I stayed there. Um, I think I started out getting the water until I really got a good taste of it and decided I'm not drinking this water because it, it tastes like metal pipe. I mean, it was really not good tasting water. There are some, there are kiosks all over town and pretty much in every town in, in, in the desert Southwest in that area, they have these kiosks and you, you know, you have to have change of course, but it's 25 cents a gallon and usually five gallons for a dollar and it's filtered and and reverse osmosis and everything that's what they say there must be something going on with it because it tastes a lot better than the water coming out of the pipes in in the um ltva so I, i'd rather pay for my water and and have it taste better and have zero issues with it than 
get the get the water that goes along with the the fee for the LTVA and 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 have that horrible tasting water. Um, the vault toilets, like I said, I think I used them twice the entire time I was there, um, and 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 they don't they either don't clean them very well or they um, uh, there's no toilet paper, so you you constantly walking over there if, if like I did last year I had to bring my own roll of toilet paper because it was never telling from one day to the next whether they're going to have uh, provide toilet paper in there because you have a whole bunch of transients going through that use up all the toilet paper um, so there's nothing that they can offer me that would make me want to go back there and pay that fee especially having to deal with a whole bunch of people and having to deal with the uh, people driving by your camp on a regular basis, kicking up clouds of dust, the ATVs, the occasional parties that people have with loud music. And I didn't come out to the desert um, or, 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 or choose this lifestyle to be around a bunch of people that are wreaking havoc and making a bunch of noise. Um, I, I like my peace. I like my quiet. And there are a lot of other places that I can go to to have that than go to a place and pay and and not have that on top of that you're actually supposed to be raising the price i think the last person i talked to said 300 dollars. i've heard everywhere from anywhere from 300 dollars to um <clears throat> what was the uh what would be what would be double 180 um i've heard anywhere from 300 dollars to 360 dollars, and absolutely not worth it to me um, I, I can do better. Um, I'm actually thinking about staying out in an area near Parker, way out in the desert as well, that um, would give me the capability of running into Parker, which gives me a, a large chain grocery store shop right, um, gives me access to a CVS pharmacy for medical, um, for, for medicines and pharmaceuticals rather, and, and Walmart and auto shops and you know there's just so much more that i would have access to there than staying in and around court site so it's still a little bit of ways off so we'll see how that plays out um it's uh, up here i i really really i wish i could stay here year round i mean it's, it's something to be said about the forest and the trees and you know the shelter that it provides but winter time it's it's if you're not living in a house this is no place i want to be it's it, it's way too cold and they actually close these areas down in the national forest um they block these roads these forest roads off because they, you, you're talking three four five foot of snow and the, the roads are impassable back here so um and here goes jack's barking again um must be Tom must have let him out to go to the bathroom. At any rate, um yeah, at any rate. <laughs> I um I'm really looking forward to going north. I'm I'm thinking hard about making a trip up into Utah, maybe going to see uh um around the Moab area. And it's been a it's been a little bit since I've been there and maybe check out some of the areas in uh, Western Utah because I've never been in that part of uh, of Utah. Mostly, most of my time has been spent in Southern Utah when I went that way. And um, not even thinking about Colorado, too many mountains to climb over, over there. And um, as far as I could see, not a whole heck of a lot of dispersed camping or at least nothing that I was interested in looking into, but I, I think I'm gonna basically stick with uh, Arizona and um, and maybe uh, Southern Western Utah. Uh, who knows, I may even venture over into uh, New Mexico, not my favorite place, but it is what it is. Yeah, I was going to work that job um, for the oil fields at the gate guard, but that kind of fell through. Um, Word to the wise, anybody that's thinking about doing that, um, try to get your licenses or whatever you need and everything prior. I mean, it's they have no places to get your fingerprints done 
in the state of Arizona. Um, the closest place that I could find to get fingerprinting done was um, <coughs> um, outside of La Los Angeles. And it was it was like a, a 400 mile round trip. I'm, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not going out there to spend money to get fingerprints done. And, and then, you know, say what you want about this company Guard One and how this woman takes care of you. I, I didn't find that to be the case. Um, I don't think she actually sat down and read anything I sent her. She knew I had a dog and then at the last minute, oh, none of the places that we're offering you gives you the capability of bringing your dog there. When I've watched uh, plenty of videos on people that have worked that job, they have dogs with them. So I, I told her, I said, well, that's a deal breaker for me. I mean, the money would have been nice, but I don't need the money. Um, there are a lot of great things I could accomplish if I had the money, but like I said, I don't need the money. Um, it, it, it turned out to be a little bit more than I felt like dealing with. Um, I have a very low tolerance level for BS and there's a whole bunch of BS going on with that. I mean, there was one point in time when I was uh, supposed to take the course to get certified to be a security guard in Texas. And they, uh, the, 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 the link that they gave me to do the, the training online, the, the people weren't even offering a the training. They were revamping their, their program and she had to search around on the internet to find someplace else where I could do it. And I'm like, you, you guys, as, for, as, as much as they try to make it out late, they're on top of everything, absolutely not on top of everything. So um, I didn't want to put myself into a situation where I was going to be dependent on somebody who really appeared to me to not, you know, be on top of things and read between the lines, um, especially not when it comes to reading my application and seeing that I had a dog that was going to be with me um, at the location. So uh, I'm, I'm not um, I'm, I'm not thrilled with them. And if I had to do all over again, I wouldn't have wasted the time, you know, counting on or thinking that that was going to be an option. What I may look into doing next year is um, being a campground host um, with one of those companies. It'll give me a free place to camp in one of the uh, one of the national forests and it'll put a little bit of jingle in my pocket. Um, so uh, I, I may look into that um, at the end of uh, next season. You're talking uh, 2025, spring of 2025 into the summer. But um, not a lot else going on out here. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to try to get this area my living area Oregon I packed up everything I had and threw it all inside this trailer so I could make the trip from Quartzsite here and it's still a hot mess um I still have a lot of purging to do um I don't know how it how I ended up having so much crap coming from a smaller teardrop trailer and a pickup truck into this so um I'm I'm, I'm gonna try to get a hold of this stuff and get it to where I can actually do a tour and show what I've accomplished. There are still some odds and ends, like the the wood trim on the ceiling, and and you can see behind me on this on this wall right here. I need to put some trim there to cover that up. But um, it's livable, it's comfortable, um, except for it being cold when it's cold because I don't have a heater set up yet. But um, I love it. It's it's a lot better than living in that little bitty teardrop. I'm able to stand up um, in shelter. I'm able to cook standing up and inside and not have to worry about the wind blowing out the flame on my stove. Um, I have enough power to power everything to include a TV with the Amazon Fire Stick. I've got Starlink finally, and I've got power for that. And I have a microwave and I have a, a Ninja air fryer slash toaster oven slash a convection oven so um living great i even have a uh, dual zone um, set power fridge freezer and it has been um a total game changer 
um, the work that I did last last summer, working in um, my buddy, we're working at um, living at my buddy's place, um, leech talking at my buddy's place, and 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 working at uh, first Bucky's. Don't get me started on Bucky's, <laughs> and then Lowe's, and they weren't too much better, but um, it did gave me the ability to purchase this trailer and build it out and install everything in it that I needed to live comfortably. And I'm very, very happy that I did that. I'm so much better off than I was before. And if I could have done it that way from the beginning, I, I damn sure would. I, I really, really would have. I wish I could go back and change so many things, but hindsight is twenty twenty. And we live and we learn. But um, I think I'm going to um, end it here. Um, yeah, we're at a little bit over 20. We're at 21 minutes. I'm going to end it here. And sometime this week, I'll try to do a video when the weather clears up. Take Harry for a walk and share a little more of the uh, area that I'm camping in. And um, I will actually try to do a little travel video when we get out of here the end of next week. Um, and get to our new location up north. But um, until then, everybody take care, and I'll see you folks later.